Salutations and greetings and things. It's me, Jaffa Thief. I'm here again. And uh, this time I'm taking a little break from my training videos. And I'm submitting a video resume to Sipsco in the hopes that I will be uh, gainfully employed as a pool boy and or general craftsman. I've already written my uh, inquiry letter and hopefully uh, they will see that my skills at uh, pool maintenance and uh, hydro recreational activities are up to speed and definitely of use to uh, a high quality company like Sipsco. So anyway, uh, let me give you a tour of this pool that I built. I'm going to show you around, let you uh, take a look at all the things inside and hopefully, you know, they'll recognize uh, all my uh, incredible attributes and things that I could bring to the uh, Sipsco team. So, first off, uh, we have a sign here that says Sipsco Company Pool, Deep Hole Divers, welcome. Uh, I think that's a nice kind of greeting. You know, lets people know who this pool is for and, you know, who's welcome here. So, okay, first of all, as you can see, it's very nicely kept. The grounds are nice and neat. Um, there's a lot of gardening that I have gone and uh, done and put a lot of work into that to make sure that the patrons and uh, members of Sipsco are treated with the finest of... Uh, decorum and uh, general kind of uh, you know arbor kind of uh, treatment kind of things I guess maybe um, as you can see when you came in it was uh, there's an iron door here and I'm actually gonna go in and lock the door because only certain members can get into the Sipsco company pool and I make sure of that so as you can see, got a nice little security area here just to begin things. So as we make our way over here, the first building that I went into was the uh, cabana hut. That's where I, the pool boy, would primarily be working and uh, you know have all my duties. So I'll give you a tour of that room first. So first thing, uh, we've got a uh, brewing station here, a brewing stand. I can make different potions, beverages, cocktails, um, whatever strikes their fancy and you know makes them happy. The the number one uh, goal for me is to make sure that the uh, patrons and employees of Sipsco are well taken care of. So that's my. Uh, primary uh, responsibility of course also I've got a chest here with maintenance and tools different things that I would need to upkeep uh, the pool make sure it's in tip-top shape uh, you know different tools different weapons and things in case there's intruders um, all kinds of different things got pumps and different things if I need to fill up the pool uh, boats uh, coal to power the barbecue um, just all kinds of things uh, general gardening items and screwdrivers tools shears just general things I would need to make sure that I keep this place running tip-top so um, I've also got a beverage cooler here got different things got different beverages rum uh, water bottles, uh, coffee, those kind of things, just making sure that the patrons have the uh, delicious beverages and refreshments that uh, give them the strength to relax and uh, enjoy themselves at the pool. 
Um, got a couple of furnaces here that are my barbecue stations. Uh, I've got a couple of dispensers here that have different meats, uh, depending on the fancy of, of the patrons, beef, pork, chicken, got all kinds of different fruits, uh, mushroom stew, got all kinds of things, potions of regeneration to rejuvenate uh, the patrons and employees, all kinds of different things. And I'd just be walking in the stand here um, and they would signal me and I would definitely run out uh, quite fast and make sure that they're uh, attended to properly. So as you can see with the general design of the pool, I wanted to make sure that it was uh, a branded to Sips Co. So of course the name Sips is here in the bottom of the pool. Um, as you can see also I have uh, Shin's name uh, on a nice uh, rock sculpture kind of thing with a waterfall. It's very, very nice. I wanted to do something very classy and worthy of Sips Co. So uh, definitely pulled out all the stops on this pool to make sure it's befitting an organization like Sips Co. So I've also put down nice decking, uh, very nice kind of lounge chairs, sun chairs, those kind of things. Each individual chair stand has its own uh, beverage area as well as an umbrella which is nice uh, for them to get the shade that they would need uh, if the sun is too bright. Also, each of these stations is equipped with a lamp that is going to provide them with the perfect amount of illumination at night. So that way, they, uh, they're always comfortable. They feel like they, you know, it's, it's, it's very personal here at the, uh, Sips Co. Company Pool, and that's, you know, one of my uh, primary design initiatives was to make sure that uh, no comfort was overlooked, and each patron would get the finest of treatment. So, going over this way, and oops, I seem to have fallen to the pool, but it's okay. I'm definitely trained uh, uh, to swim, also in CPR and all kinds of uh, different things, including possibly getting out of the pool, which I have trouble with, but of course I was able to do so, and I don't really have to get into the pool, I'm the pool boy. So working as the pool boy, I, you know, uh, don't necessarily have to swim, just have to be able to take care of the employees. One of the things that I've got over this way is a lifeguard stand, which if I could possibly stand on it, so it's a little, little bit tricky. Get on. So you can say from up here, you have a nice vantage viewpoint. Make sure everyone is safe that is using the pool and you know you can pretend like you're you know David Hasselhoff or something like that and you know sit up here and maybe think about how you know saving people or possibly your career or something like that and if the need arises and someone needs help you just jump off and into the water you go to save someone so safety is of the utmost importance. You know, we'll make sure the employees are, are safe and taken care of. So that's one of the nice features of this pool that I've designed. Um, some other things that might be of interest. As you can see, I've got this nice rock sculpture here behind uh, Shin's name. And what's really great is that there's a ladder here and you can climb up to the very top. And if you're so inclined, you know, you can just run and jump off and you're in the water. And it's, it's fun. It provides a different kind of way of getting into the pool 
I'm sure the employees and patrons would appreciate uh, that kind of uh, recreational activity. Um, it's one of the main reasons why I have the lifeguard station, uh, mainly because that can get, uh, you know, a little uh, dicey if if you don't if you can't gauge the uh, distance correctly. But the depth is measured appropriately to make sure there are no injuries. Um, as you can see, it's getting rather dark. But one of the nice features that I have implemented into this pool is a nighttime light system, which is with this lever here. And one of the things that uh, really brings a nice accent to the pool, as you can see, there's recessed lighting all throughout the pool, illuminating Sip's name, uh, which is very nice. There's a couple torches on the J and the I on Shin's name. Uh, to provide illumination up there. Um, one of the nicer things, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is these uh, custom lamps for each of the uh, sun stations for the employees and patrons. Uh, it seems like we have an unwanted guest here. I'll be sure to take care of that right away. It's one of the main uh, responsibilities of being a pool boy is security and making sure that, you know, no one is going to disturb, you know, our patrons and employees while they're enjoying themselves. So I'm going to head over here and take care of this unwanted guest. I have put up uh, the special green uh, introduction torches um, that supposedly keep these guys away but occasionally you know someone's going to try to get in and I'll just take care of them just like that so that's basically uh, the general pool area and the general sun recreational areas so, one of the other things that's very nice about this pool that was custom designed for the comfort and needs of Sipsco employees was a special hot tub area. So behind the rock sculpture of Shin's name is a nice private hot tub grotto area that's been built. Uh, it has a nice uh, skyline here, so you can see the stars. Look out, you know, enjoy the view, the night air. Also, one of the nice features is that this hot tub is geothermal heated. As you can see, there's lava at the bottom here, and that makes it real nice. I mean, it makes it a real cozy kind of quaint place to relax. You know, you can sit here plan your business meetings, you know, dirt shipments, uh, dirt quality control, uh, all those different kinds of things while just relaxing and enjoying the view. And uh, that's one of the nicer features of this pool that I specifically had designed to uh, ensure that Sipsco was always getting the best of everything. So that's the uh, grotto area and uh, I think we're just about done with our tour of this pool uh, you know there was a lot of things that uh, made uh, the pool work very enjoyable for me to do I have a deep passion for pool maintenance and uh, have always wanted and dreamed of working as a pool boy for a company like Sipsco. So this is, it was very exciting for me to, to put this all together. Um, one of the things that is nice about this is that in the cabana hut over here, we can go down. And 
as you can see there's all the wiring systems i have access to all those areas i can make sure that everything is nicely maintained we're under the pool right now as you can see the recessed lighting i used a uh, red alloy wire to rig everything up it's a nice little package i think and what's great is that i can work on any issues or problems that the pool is having without disturbing the company employees or guests and uh, i find that to be uh, very important there seems to be some sort of bastard kind of spider um you know sometimes you know he you know see that's the thing about sipsco is everybody wants to work there and i'll tell you one thing spider i will fight you to the death if you i cannot believe it the spider has won it has defeated me i have been bested by a spider okay well i suppose that's going to be all for this video um hopefully uh, you know, either Sipsco will, will definitely consider myself or perhaps that uh, um, spider. As you can see, it's, it's quite the, the desired job. And, you know, everyone wants to, to be a pool boy for Sipsco. And hopefully, you know, they'll, they'll appreciate the fine work and craftsmanship that I made. So uh, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.